All right, so let's look at uh, functions of one random variable. So the basic problem is you are given a uh, distribution function of a random variable x. And then uh, say we have three examples here and a function of that uh, random variable. So y equal to gx is the function. And the problem, so I have three different examples. Uh, so obviously these are nonlinear functions. The, and the problem is to find out the uh, distribution function or the density function of uh, y for each of these problems. So let's be, let me pick up uh, problem number one. Uh, so uh, here, I'll redraw it here. Uh, so you have uh, y in terms of x. So this is, let's say, a minus a. So the, the way I have drawn this is a 45 degree straight line. So this is x minus a, and this is x plus a. So essentially, y is given to be x minus a uh, if uh, x is greater than equal to a. You can see from the diagram. And y is x plus a if x is less than uh, minus a. Uh, so this is the same as when x is greater than a, you can notice y, this is the same as y is positive. And when x is less than a, this is the same as y is uh, strictly negative, right? Uh, so we can look at y, uh, y negative. Uh, remember, we want to draw f, f y y. So let's look at for y negative. Uh, so the distribution function is by definition a probability of y less than or equal to y. So that's, uh, but in this region, when y is less than uh, 0, in this region, the relation between y and x is x plus a. So x plus a is less than or equal to y. And so this is probability of x less than or equal to y minus a. So that's the distribution function of x evaluated at y minus a. And uh, uh, so this is uh, fx of y. So if you want to draw this, so maybe we'll draw the, let's say fxx is here. And then I want to draw fyy. So for y negative, it is given, this is the relation, y, f y y is related to this through this expression. So you put y negative, so take some value here, uh, which is uh, very close to zero. So this is essentially, uh, around here it's going to be fx of minus a. So minus a is here, plus a is here. Uh, so this, th this curve is going to come and uh, sit here. You can see, so that much we have seen. Now for y positive, of course, it is again the same expression, y equal to 0 is probability of y less than or equal to y. But y is, when y is positive, the relation between y and x is here. So this is x minus a is less than or equal to y. So this is probability of x is less than or equal to y plus a. That's the distribution function evaluated at y plus small y plus a. So again, to see, this is for all y positive. So if you take y close to 0, but on the positive side, this is fx of uh, plus a. Right. So, so this piece is going to come and sit here. So we see that there is a jump discontinuity, which you can see from here also. Because when, y, when x is between this value, y equals 0. So we could also say probability of y equal to 0 is probability of x being greater than minus a and less than or equal to plus a. This is fx of a minus fx of minus a. And that's this, so that's fx of a minus fx of minus a. That's this jump. Uh, so if the density function of this is like this, which is the derivative of the distribution function, and then the density function here is uh, so this shape. Remember, is the derivative of this. So that's going to be this shape. 
then this shape is going to be here and there is an impulse here. And the impulse is going to be fxa minus fx of minus a, which is minus a to plus a fx of x dx. So this quantity is actually uh, this. So this is the value of this impulse delta. So the impulse delta is, uh, so this is y. And so this is fyy as an impulse and uh, density function. So similarly, if you go to number two, uh, there x and y are given to be like this. Uh, so the relation is y is going to be y is x plus a if x is positive and uh, y is x minus a so let's say this is a and minus a right if x is negative so notice that when x is positive, y takes the values beyond the plus a. So this is also the same as saying y is uh, greater than a. Uh, here, uh, y is uh, less than minus a. So in this case, when y is less than minus a, fx of fy of y is probability of y less than y. But y is going to be for y less than minus a, fy y is probability of y less than equal to y. But uh, y is, uh, y, for y less than minus a, this is x is, uh, uh, relation between y and x is x minus a. Uh, is less than or equal to y. So that's x less than or equal to y plus a. And that's the same as fx of y plus a. And uh, we'll, we'll be do the other portion, then we will uh, complete it. So similarly for y greater than a, uh, this is going to be fy of y, which is probability of y less than or equal to y. But the relation between x and y is probability of x plus y is x plus a is less than or equal to y. So this is probability of x less than or equal to y minus a, which is prob fx of y minus a. And you can see when y is between minus a and uh, plus a, fy y would be uh, then. Uh, when y is in this region, x is less than or equal to 0. Uh, fx, so that is probability of x less than or equal to 0. This will turn out to be fx 0. So if you plot this function, this is fx of x. And uh, this is fy of y. Uh, so this is going to be, so when y is uh, greater than a, this will be, so put, put y equal to a, then this will be for y greater than a, y is here, y greater than a, the y put slightly greater than a, so this will be fx of 0. So essentially, uh, this portion comes and sits here. And y less than minus a, put y equal to minus a, this will be fx of 0 coming from the left side. So this portion comes and sits here. So remember, this portion is here. Uh, so this is going to be like this. And uh, since it's a non-decreasing uh, non function, the distribution function is going to be like this. It's a derivative is the density function. So the density function is going to be whatever is the derivative of this up to here, up to here, then it will be a constant. 
and then it will be again. So, this will be the density function of y.